Morning everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Carl. Today's video, we're gonna go on a mini road trip to a place called Salisbury here in the UK. For those of you who don't know where Salisbury is, it did actually make the news headlines quite a few years ago for all the wrong reasons. I won't go into that. Salisbury is a small medieval city and it's just north of the New Forest. It's probably about a 70, 75 mile drive for me so i'm going to stay overnight in a premier inn and uh take my time basically to look around i have been to salisbury but it's before but it was many many moons ago there's no movies in particular that i'm after down in salisbury there is next week because i think we've got five nights at freddy's on blu-ray and 4k and we've also got cannonball run as well which i'm after but this week there's nothing in particular but we will look around Salisbury look in the shops there's bound to be a CX and there's I think I'm pretty certain there is a cool merch there as well so we'll try and find that look around show you guys around Salisbury so if you do want to go to Salisbury anytime and it does look good in this video then by all means you know Head down there and check the place out. Okay, that's enough waffling from me. I think 1917 was filmed there in places as well. Stop talking. Let's head off to Salisbury. I'll see you when we get there. arrived in Salisbury parked in a bit of a dive car park I stuck three pounds seventy in the machine and it swallowed all my money up luckily a kind person came past and said have you lost loads of money in that machine I said yes and they gave me two hours parking so quite happy with that so let's head off to the center of the medieval city of Salisbury <music> Okay, so we're in the main shopping centre of Salisbury. First stop, closing down sale in Mankind. So just got out of mankind closing down sale it wasn't that good the stormtrooper head decanter that's got five pounds off down to 20 from 25 but i got it for 15 on amazon so it's not that good really <laughs> When you visit Salisbury, one of the main attractions here is, of course, the cathedral.
So found the cool merch in Salisbury. I must admit, it was a lovely shop. I love the building, the way they've stuck the cool merch store inside that old building. I was surprised it wasn't that big because I was pretty certain that cool merch in Salisbury was meant to be their biggest store. But Southampton is a lot bigger. So at least we found it, that was the main thing. Gonna head off to get something to eat in McDonald's um, with that famous Kermit's Go shot and then we're gonna head off to see you. See you in a bit. So I've looked around the shops in Salisbury. It's not a bad town, quite a bit there. Lots of quirky shops. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I've made it back to the hotel. This is where I'm staying, the Premier Inn behind me, which is a, just under a mile outside Salisbury. I have got breakfast included tomorrow, which is quite funny because if I look this way, there's a McDonald's right opposite the Premier Inn. I wonder if we'll be having our breakfast in McDonald's. Let's go inside the Premier Inn, check out the room. to the window see what the view's like it's not a too bad view for a city hotel sun's coming down just over there there's a deer and a fox over there let's check out this door which i'm sure will be the bathroom one loo one carly hello we've got a bath with some towels and a double shower. Honestly, this is take fucking 12. I'm useless. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. It's about 10 to 7 now. Probably started about 6.30. 
thought I'd pop out the hotel, head back into Salisbury, around the Premier Inn there are a few big super stores there, there's a B&M which I popped in, a Home Bargains as well, not really much to film and put in my video so obviously I didn't bother. Pop back into Salisbury, I'm in the King's Head at the moment which is a Weatherspoon. just about to get something to eat before I check out the nightlife. I'm not too old to check out the nightlife, I know what you're all thinking. <laughs> Honestly, if there's anything to film here in Salisbury in the evening, I will put it in the video. One of the best things about Salisbury are these old buildings, the way they've kept them original. Like I said earlier about Cool Merch, where they've stuck the actual shop underneath like these buildings. There's another one there as well. I think that one's called the Pickled Frog. I'll show you in a minute. Good morning, good morning, it's such a lovely morning. Good morning, good morning. But there's people next door thinking, fucking hell, imagine waking up with that every morning. <laughs> it's day two, it's Sunday, last day here in Salisbury. Gonna head down, grab some breakfast before we head into Salisbury for one last look around before we head home. So back in Salisbury, it's a beautiful morning, not that cold. Decided to park in a different car park this time. I'm only going to be here a couple of hours. And after that dodgy car park yesterday, learnt my lesson, parked in an outside one. The town is literally just that way. Couple of things I'm actually after, which I spotted yesterday. I might get that friend's biscuits tin in cool merch and if that market's there again i wouldn't mind that etvhs but we'll take a look see what we can get So people, that was Salisbury. It's a lovely place to visit. If you are planning on visiting Salisbury, I would say you don't need any more than a day to two days there max. It was nice to stay overnight and not rush around, that sort of thing. The cool merch shop was a lot smaller than what I thought because I did think that was their main store. As I mentioned in the video, the CEX there was tiny. I kept getting barged in the back when I was filming and looking at the Blu-rays more than once or say five to eight times I was being barged in the back so it's a very tiny CEX there today I couldn't get anything I wanted the market had gone so I couldn't get the VHS tape I wanted and when I did look in cool merch at the friends biscuit tin 
as you can see in the photo there was a tiny dent on there whether that's been reduced because of that dent or not but it's not worth 10 pounds with that dent so i decided to leave it there is something to show you and that's this here this was down to five pounds from 10. let's open it up and take a look i think it is a notepad which i do love because i can put all the ideas from my videos in that sort of thing and if i spin it round to the back it's the back to the future notepad looking inside there isn't much inside really it's just a plain notepad to jot ideas down for future videos that was my trip to Salisbury. I really do hope you like this video. It's worth going. Like I say, you don't need longer than a day there. If you like this video, please do give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe if you can. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this trip to Salisbury. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.